The DA in Louisiana had something out for me. I'd have left, bro. Exactly. I'd have been gone out of that city, out of that state. Hey, lover. Maybe he couldn't have. Oh, man, he been on. He been the man for a long time. Yo, so smoke this over. If you fuck with my channel, you know I'm a full-time father. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm supposed to do. So, I'm on my way to my daughter. And she, um, for whatever reason, I don't know what the value in it. Oh, I'm in though. Things like this, as a, let me give you a tip. Things like this as a father, don't even bother arguing about no matter how you feel, because sometimes you might be wrong, but most of the times it's going to be a waste of money. Either way, you having something to say, not going to go good. So you see this milk right here? This milk? This milk? This shit? My daughter drinks this. Now, typically... The Boom Boom Room is is Fern is like right by Ferndale. So typically, I either go to that grocery store or Junior Mama live in uh, right by Dearborn Heights. So I might go to the grocery store over there. And then I just not got over into another, like Livonia. So I only been to the grocery store in Livonia once or twice, but that's an experience within itself, which we gonna get into this grocery store shit. And I'm not gonna be... Um, bias or any of that we i'm just gonna simply show you but i don't want to bother you too much today i just want to this milk right here bam right now <clears throat> this shit cost me 24 percent more to buy in the hood now particularly the grocery store I was at is borderline, well, it's right on 8 Mile. You know what I'm saying? So, but the more it's on the it's on the it's on the Detroit side. So that shit kind of bothered me because this is not the first time I have experienced this. I had got caught having to buy milk for my baby. And I had to buy that in the hood. Now I don't have a wick. You know, when daddy got to buy milk, daddy got to buy milk. So at Walmart, I get this same milk for $17.54 a can. At CVS in the Burbs, I think I get it for $21. Basically, the most I spend on this can of milk is $22 as I'm moving around in the normal places I be at, right? I get caught last minute. I had to buy some at work. I work in the hood. This can that I was complaining when I had to spend $22 for was motherfucking $29. Now, how can you win? What if you don't have a car? If you don't have a car, let's say you 18, 19, you move out the crib and you're on your own, right? And you don't have a car, but you work not too far from, you know what I'm saying? You work at the at the at the warehouse down the street, woody woody woo. Everything you buy from food to car insurance is costing you between 10 and 40% more just because you live in the motherfucking hood. So when they say we broke or we can't stick together or any of that shit. Don't let them discount that fact that just just from the position of your poverty where you where you got off the boat at and I'm I don't mean I mean that metaphorically like where your life led you to live at when you first took control of the reins. You paying 10 to 40 percent more for everything. Now I did. So this is why. Because as a black man, I've asked this question so many times. I've been working next to a white dude that made the same amount of money as me who appeared to be a lot more irresponsible than I. But somehow their car was a little bit better and their house was a little bit bigger. And now I'm starting to understand it. Their dollar is going for a little bit more just based on where they at. 
they saving between 10 and 40 percent on car insurance based on their neighborhood. They saving on security systems and what it costs to secure their house based on their neighborhood. They saving on what their food costs and how far away the grocery store is based on their neighborhood. The only re only only problem we have with getting in this neighborhood is the initial cost of what it costs to get in there. Which we can't never get up on because we're being robbed in every way. I ain't mean to go too long about this milk shit, but it pissed me off. And I don't know if it is or some is or not something. We did just vote in Michigan, and it's this lady with a post that's talking about price gouging. Like, that shit bothers me. If you're a motherfucking politician, don't come ask us people what the fuck is wrong. You clearly see it, and if you don't see it, it's because you don't want to see it. That's why I'm really not into voting. I'm done with the voting until I'm not voting for shit that don't matter no more. I'm not voting for nobody that say that's going to do a job that I ain't already see them trying to do. I'm about to start treating everything the way my granddaddy would, period. Flat out. You ain't got to agree with me at all, and I ain't going to argue with you about it. But I ain't wasting no more energy on somebody else's bullshit that they ain't about to handle because we all done did that before, and, and, and that ain't how this shit should go. But anyway, I'm going to get back with you motherfuckers. I got to get to it. But... And then, I guess, you could spend a couple dollars driving outside the city for everything. And I'm not condoning that we just leave the city because as soon as we pass over the city back to them motherfuckers, then it's going to become all valuable and everything going to be cheap. And we ain't going to be able to afford to get in this motherfucker. So... I don't know what to say. It's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a dirty game, and we always caught in between all these different cultures and nationalities going to war with each other and their business practices, and that's why it is because they don't necessarily get along. But to keep us boxed out in this, that's that's they all that's how they that's the game. They don't come together to keep us boxed out, but them going at war with each other business-wise keep us boxed out, and then they have to keep us boxed out on the come-together tip by their business practices. And then that way they can say it's not intentional, it's just business. No, it's not. No, it's not. You intentionally in a business that does that. And every time I find myself in a conversation with one of these store owners in the city that's not invested in the city i always ask them that question when i see them with an attitude was because they don't get an attitude with me because they know i'm clearly a black man you know what i'm saying so they know it's only so far that they can go with me because i'm making just as much as them well not all of them but some of them and i'm just as legit and so on and so forth you know what i'm saying but we had that conversation for another day so they only go so far with me but i asked them that question and they can't never answer it because they know, like I know, if they open up a store where they live at, the most money they would make. First of all, they couldn't afford to get a store there. Second of all, they wouldn't make the same amount of money. Period. You know what I'm saying? And they are buying all they shit from the franchise or the blankety blank man in their neighborhood. So it's a circle of dick in the ass. That's a fact. It's just, we ain't even getting a reach around. That's the problem, man. But we're going to get back to that later. Let me get this milk in the house that I just paid an extra fucking... Dog, I paid an extra 23% for this fucking milk. And normally, I get two cartons for that price. So technically, God damn it, 50%. We out, man.